Though not must have, a shovel is definitely the best to have item for your survival kit. The key point of surviving in nature or during some SHTF scenarios lies in your capability to react as fast as possible with limited sources. Thus, a shovel is not really needed. Notwithstanding, take soldiers and firefighters, for example. Their primary task is succeeding in surviving some horrible situations, and their gear obligatorily includes a shovel. This is only one of many reasons for having one survival shovel on your bug out bag list. This ancient tool, invented around 6,000 years ago, is a bit neglected, due to some level of heaviness and some lack of handiness. Simultaneously with the progress of technology, a shovel has also been perfected and changed, to satisfy current needs. Today there are machines that excavate, dig and move bulky materials, which are some of the actions, a shovel was widely used for in the past. As we mentioned, there have been some improvements thanks to which a shovel has become even more helpful. Nowadays, shovels are much lighter, some of them are foldable and portable. All these changes have contributed to their versatility and suitability for different tasks. Since we tackled their versatility, and our subject of talking concerns SHTF situations, we are primarily focusing on one type of shovel, a survival shovel. Here are a couple of uses of a survival shovel. Though you are maybe not a soldier, you can find yourself in a situation when you need to dig a trench. If there are heavy rains, you may have to protect your shelter and gear by directing the water away from your shelter or tent. Surviving can make you dig a fire pit, and you can't do that with a stick. This tiring and long process of digging a fire pit can be done by a shovel, of course. Maintaining a basic level of hygiene requires digging a sanitation hole with a shovel, lulling the ground for placing your tent, propane burner or a camping table also calls for your survival shovel. Your driver's skills can be tested in the mud. In other words, your car can get stuck in the mud and a shovel can save your day quite easily. Some of the survival shovels can be adjusted in such a way so that you can get a perfect 90 degrees hoe. In addition to hoeing and lack of a hatchet or tomahawk, a survival shovel can be used for cutting and chopping branches to set a fire. Those survival shovels with sawtooth edges are tremendously helpful for sawing thicker branches. To accelerate your digging, you can use a survival shovel for prying rocks. Hammering is one more activity that can be done with a survival shovel. Injured or stranded in the wilderness? To be heard and rescued, get your shovel for producing a loud emergency whistling signal. There are also situations when a survival shovel can serve as a self-defense weapon. This can be an unexpected meeting with some aggressive wild animals. A survival shovel is a paddle. Why not? You have already built a raft. Start rafting with a shovel. So numerous purposes of such a simple tool. Pretty incredible, right? A true jack of all trades. Well, this number of uses of a shovel is proportionate to their manufacturers. The strong competition among them requires constant work on producing better shovels. Yet to stay in the game, some players disregard certain aspects in order to offer more affordable products. Bearing this in mind, it is necessary to know what you should look for when choosing a survival shovel. Prior to considering the quality and features, consider how you will use your survival shovel. Normally, you will not often have to face some survival scenarios. On the other hand, maybe you are an avid camper or hiker. Maybe you plan to dig small or big holes. Serious digging needs a more robust shovel. Yet, if it is for some leveling the ground, sanitation holes, or fire pits, a lightweight shovel is all you need. When it comes to the material, there is even modern plastic, which is becoming sturdier and stronger. Still, traditional materials have stood the test of time. We are talking about stainless steel aluminum and high carbon steel. Out of these three, stainless steel is the heaviest material. It is also sturdy, durable, and rust-proof. Aluminum is lightweight, but not very strong. Speaking of high carbon steel, it is stronger than stainless steel. The coating is necessary to prevent corrosion. It is material for sturdy and strong survival shovels. The blade size and shape are also aspects that should be analyzed. Moving gravel or sand can be easily done with bigger blade shovels. In the case of dry and hard soil, smaller blades are more convenient. Shovels with wide blades are suitable for moving the dirt, whereas shovels with narrow blades more excel in digging. You have probably seen pointed and flat shovels. In the case of survival shovels, only pointed blades should be taken into account. Shovel handles matter as well. 
though it adds to the weight and affects portability, the longer the handle, the easier it is to use. Nowadays, producers offer foldable or collapsible handles that allow easy packing and carrying. Some models of handles act as storage locations for fire starters, LED lights, or other small tools. Among other essential features of your survival shovels, weight and portability are of tremendous importance. These two features enable easy carrying and use. Particularly if you need to carry a shovel longer, the foldability of handles signifies easy packing. It is probably boring to hear one more time, but the versatility of a survival shovel has made it an effective tool for camping and survival purposes. The list of its add-ons is longish. These amazing transformations of shovels from limited to almost limitless series of uses and their modern practical looks can activate you to make some additional space in your bug out bag or backpack. Saws, hose, fire rods, compasses, whistles, bottle openers, screwdrivers, flashlights. All of these devices are practically incorporated in these survival shovels. This resembles those devices in James Bond movies. So why don't you afford the James Bond position? and the feeling of preparedness and safety in SHTFs or some nice outdoor adventures.